on Politically Incorrect. Actor, Gary Busey. Comedian, Stephen Wright. Conservative activist, Susan Carpenter McMillan. And author, Iksamaya Murray. And now, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Ma. Please, please, there's a lot of news. We gotta get out here. Some people get the news from this show. Uh, I'm telling you, we gotta cover these things. And the big one, President Clinton, big victory today. His big foreign policy objective was to get the Russians to agree to let the old uh, satellite countries of the Soviet Union into NATO. And yesterday, the, aggression, the Russians finally agreed to this. The last stumbling block was we agreed to have joint military exercises with the Russians and let their drill sergeants harass our women. That's <laughs> the least. Now, speaking of, uh, <laughs> of uh, dark spots on our record, uh, tomorrow there's going to be a big ceremony in Washington for the uh, Tuskegee syphilis sufferers. You know what? <laughs> Do you know what this is? We did experiments many, many years ago. This is one of our worst things in our whole nation's history. Uh, pay of black men, they used to experiment on to see the progression of syphilis, and they are finally having these men to the White House to apologize, like that makes up for it. But there's going to be, <laughs> be a big ceremony. They're going to have them there, and they told the audience, be as respectful as you can, but whatever you do, uh, don't clap, because. <laughs> Now, there's an interesting court ruling yesterday. The, anybody from Massachusetts? That's a, quite a progressive state. The, the Supreme Court there in Massachusetts ruled that begging, begging, is protected by the First Amendment and is a First Amendment right. Anyone can beg, and you're in your constitutional rights, which I think is, is probably true. There, there is no privilege more sacred in America than a free and open exchange between a Kennedy and his babysitter. Uh, Also yesterday, the Senate got uh, tough. They, they said they mandated that a school should have more flexibility to discipline students. They said, you know, the laws they wrote 20 years ago don't apply anymore to what's going on in schools today. And they said any kid who brings a gun or drugs into a school can be expelled for 45 days for bringing a gun or drugs. Um, unless, of course, it's career day. Because, you know, <laughs> the kids today... And uh, finally, Roseanne, on a lighter note, uh, Roseanne, <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, I just meant, <clears throat> she is, uh, <laughs> she opened in New York yesterday at Madison Square Garden, they're doing the Wizard of Oz, and she plays the Wicked Witch, and they say it's a, that's absolutely true, she plays the Wicked Witch, it's a little different than the movie, uh, in this one, the witch falls on the house. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming. Oscar-winning director, actor, and comedian who'll be playing Carnegie Hall this June 11th, Stephen Wright. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Sam. Good to see you, buddy. A novelist and associate professor at Loyola Law School. Her book is called Locus. Eeks to Maya Murray. Hi, you now. Thank you for doing our show. Please sit down. She's a family values feminist, but she's always a woman to me from the Women's Coalition. Susan Carpenter McMillan. Yes, ma'am. Hey, doll. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. And finally, the very nice star of the Buddy Holly story and the very evil star of Lethal Weapon and Under Siege. And let's not forget DC Cab. His next one is Rough Riders, Gary Busey. Yes. 
deafening approval for you. I'm going to tell the story about you driving a cab in Washington, too. Hello. I bet you would. Okay. All right. The topic today is school. Anybody been to school? Yeah. Okay. How far did you get, Gary? I went to college for five and a half years, three different colleges. <laughs> Five and, uh, and a half years. Yeah, I still have a nightmare where I'm uh, taking a botany final naked. And uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I need phonetic, uh, freshman phonetics to get my degree. I think college is a wonderful thing because it's... Uh, well, a lot of kids... I'll, 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 I'll argue with you about that. <laughs> well, I don't know, you don't know what I'm going to say. That, I mean, a, a lot of college <laughs> is, is completely BS. There was an article in Rolling Stone recently about this guy. They called him the undergraduate, this guy named Bert, who... Uh, basically goes to college to drink, uh, which is not right, and... and well, hey. But not he unusual. But not unusual. Not unusual. Right. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah. so we, we're in agreement Correct. on that. It's not yeah. right to... Okay, now, uh, John Silber is the chairman of the Board of Education in Massachusetts. He uh, received a bunch of mail from sixth graders, and the question that they were answering was, how can you make school better? And they said things like, um, we can learn more from doing fun activities. Uh, reading books all day is boring. When we role play, we are learning and having fun at the same time. Well, Silver doesn't want these sixth grade kids to have any fun in school, right? His theory is, look, but life is not fun, learn he, it now, he said students, get over it. Students should not get the idea that throughout their lives, someone will be there to make things fun for them. Which I think, hooray for him. I agree. Uh, I think, you know, in the old well, days, teachers would tell college. kids that. There's what? a lot of fun things in college. Athletics? I had a football scholarship. That's what enabled me to go to college. But that comes after then you learn. Theater. After you learn? Right. No. Athletics. You've learned up to a level, and then you have another level to learn on, and it's a great buffer before you get into the real world. Seventeen years old, going right out in the real world, it's going to be tough for them. But college gives them a chance to meet their future wife, their future husband, a business associate in the future. That's not what college is yeah. for. Have you, have you, well, of the ingredient of college. That seen, comes with the dinner. Have you seen these pictures of John, of John Silver? That's the same John Silver? Yes, he ran for there governor. These, there are right. these articles, right, where reporting on what he said about, you know, how there shouldn't be any fun in sixth grade. And you take a look at these pictures of him and you understand why he's saying what he's saying. Because he looks like the Ooh. most dour, depressed, sad, run-down person well, I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, but I mean, should he be but, dressing as a clown? No, I, I don't mean, think so, but I, the man needs to, you know, take a vacation and have some fun, because and I think about the hey. universe but of I think, kindergarten. I think there's, there's a combination. There's yeah. a combination here. I think that school should be fun mm -hmm. at recess at appropriate times like sports, but I think there's a time when you settle down, you learn your reading, writing, right. your rhythm. Learning yeah, science and those things aren't fun. They don't teach spelling and writing in grade school. They only that. teach how to put on a condom, uh, put a cucumber, a condom on a cucumber now. What? No. <laughs> I didn't hear you. They, I miss that class. They I miss teach that how that. to put a they condom have, on a cucumber. The other yes, way around, I'm dyslexic. You know, but I'm thinking about the universe of kindergartners that this man is envisioning. And what does he want? You know, a bunch of kindergartners with carpal tunnel syndrome, wearing, you know, ill no, business suits and getting downsized. I mean, they're kids. You know, let them have a They're fun. kids, but they need adult supervision. They need to right. someone to tell them that books aren't boring and that you've got to yes. learn before you play. Well, here, you, here. You have to learn yeah. through fun. I mean, kids do learn you more with, with Wait, fun. A good you're teacher. A, law a good teacher. teacher. You Le get up learning is work. A good teacher is fun. Do you teach your students the law? Yes. By kind of doing little skits that are there, cute and there fun are, there to are, our profession. Well, there that's why we have the problem with lawyers we do, I guess. No, it's not. There are lots of different pedagogical techniques these days, you know, which deviate from the traditional norm of teaching, which is getting students involved, making them active, making them think, even making them laugh. That's different than making it Make fun. It. How no, is I that different? I think people should just get up earlier. <laughs> If you plan to be in the Los Angeles area and would like free tickets to Politically Incorrect, call 213-852-2655. Okay, uh, we were talking about education and how frivolous you should be. And uh, let me tell you one reason why I think you shouldn't be frivolous when you're 
going growing up bec as far as learning goes because then it goes the other way too many people seem to un not understand the concept of moderation there was a front page article in today's paper many fraternities are banning alcohol altogether now we don't want our kids to be drunk they shouldn't overdo but this is too far the other way. Mm -hmm. The five different national fraternities have, banned, have vowed to ban all alcohol in all chapters by the year 2000. Good. That's good. We'll get rid of date rape. We'll get rid of, of, of killing somebody in the car when they're driving home. You'll get rid of all kinds of problems if you're besides just the normal throw up on the couch the next morning. Yeah, you get rid you'll, of adultery. Well, again, you are, you are using the people who will go to extremes as your model and ignoring the moderate center. I don't think throwing up on the couch in the frat house is the extreme. I think it is the norm. Okay, you also mentioned date rape. Like anyone who drinks is going to be date raping. No, but there is too much. So we should get rid of the people. Uh, just because of what a small minority do, everyone else should suffer. That's your well, theory. I don't think it's a small minority well, that drinks One thing about school. it, Bill, is that addiction is something you're born with. I was born with it. I've been clean now two years. Cocaine. <laughs> I have, a, I have an 800% chance to relapse into cocaine if I have one glass of wine because of my brain chemistry. A what percent chance? 800%. 800%. That's a lot. That's a lot. Well, look at me. I'm a big guy. He's a crook. Anyway, sober. How can you have more than a 100% chance? I don't well, understand that. I, well, I, you should see my track record. That's why. <laughs> and another thing is sober. Sober. The truth of sober stands for this. S-O-B-E-R. Sober stands for son of a bitch. Everything's real. But, but why should, why should, should the rest disease. of society have to pay because you couldn't control yourself? It's not me, it's millions of people I, but, or who millions. are in denial and who are in it's still separation of self, who are in codependency, who are in impulsive, compulsive behavior, yeah, or in stress are, and depression. Well, listen, you're born with that. But what, lots have, of us are not. I know. Why should we have to pay? Well, I guess there should be a Why should there be no stick. alcohol? What? That works in the esophagus of someone, puts a dipstick in, if it comes out purple, you don't drink. How about that? You want to come with some new medicine idea? You're, you're quite no, a the, scientist. The fact is, yeah, I'm a reordained scientist. The fact is that there is a disease rampant with alcohol out there, and I think what the government's doing with tobacco, they're going to end up moving in to alcoholism because of what's happening. I the actually yeah, like they're half stiff drink myself. I, I have to say, I'm, you know, on Friday nights, I have, I've stressed that's that a lot right. during work. A Friday night drink. Mm -hmm. or, that's what I we're talking about. Yes, we really are. Not we're not we're talking we're about moderation. Well, not a lot of people not can moderate. I, I, most people can moderate. Well, well wait a minute. Who are you talking to? Your friends <laughs> couldn't. My friends couldn't. I couldn't. But that's not everybody. You're making Bill, everyone even, pay. No, we're not cutting off no, alcohol not everybody. for society. You're not talking everybody. about fraternity what about guys. The, what about those sixth yeah, graders? I think we're sort of moving around. I mean, you're talking about bit. why can't 14, 15, 16-year-old children have booze for the same reason I know he's getting ready to come out with something profound. <laughs> I can feel it. I, I can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I, her drinking I wait before for the Sphinx. What? She was drinking before the show. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that too. Yeah. I was, I was drinking your iced tea, which you provided. Now, this is not a joke, this alcohol and drug abuse. It's yeah. not a joke. Sober isn't natural. And there are people out there who can have sober is not right. natural. But you know, no, to, to always be sober is not natural, natural either. Why is that true? That's true. Why is to that always true? be sober is not is as yes. unnatural as a yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. You always be sober is as unnatural well, I am as always now. being Bill? stoned. Right. That is the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my life. Wait a minute, Susan. Susan, hold it. I am, I am naturally sober all the time because I made that choice. Mm -hmm. well, I made the fine. choice. But Animals get high. You know that? Well, the my dog drinks martinis. Yeah, yeah, right. No, I mean, all kind of animals in nature, they drink, they eat berries, they do all things, they drink. They that gives them a buzz? And gives them a buzz. And they fall into a berry. You've got me looking for these berries after we Where are those berries? No, not me, not me, not me. But in terms of the fraternities, you know, uh, I have to say, I do drive a lot. 
You know, I think, well, I, yeah, I'm not going to join a fraternity anytime soon. But in but terms of adults. drinking, and, no, well, what? You know, 18, 19, skin right. salon, if, if it's against, if, it, if it's within the no, water, I, I, I do acknowledge it's not. They're not supposed to drink till they're 21 mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Well, that's not a law everywhere. You know, Some lots laws. and lots of boy, lots and lots of, you know, young men and alcohol all crammed together in a house. Okay. I, I sound like such an old Is this going to come into the First I, Amendment? I really do. I really think that no. it's a bad combination. You're teaching I, people extremism, and that is never going to serve them well if in their sick, later life. Or if they're ill, or if they have the disease, or the ism, or the addiction, it's not extremism. That's, but that's a small percentage, Gary. You're not thinking about the no, majority. No, it's not. I don't know what you... You've been you too much Rolling people, Stone. It's a big percentage. There's people, a lot of people How many people do you sick. think are addicted like you were? Millions. How many people in the country? Many millions. Yeah. So? I don't, once again, we've done the math. Okay, we have to know, take a I break. I will come. Okay. about this interesting uh, Supreme Court case that they actually refused to hear, which gets the idea of whether being discriminating is the same as being a bigot, which I don't think it is. Here's the situation. Uh, in Wisconsin, there were two single women who uh, had a room in their house they wanted to rent to share expenses. And they said they didn't want, they had put an ad in the paper, they didn't want smokers, they didn't want a straight man. A lesbian applied for it, and they said, we don't want a lesbian here either. The lesbian <coughs> sued, and she won. Okay, and that is the ruling. Now, I think that's very interesting, because it's basically saying, you have to live with a lesbian. <laughs> what? Which, I hate, I hate I, this. I, I don't this. want wait, wait, you... Wait, Steve wants to speak. Oh, Shut up. Okay. What did she win? <laughs> um, I think I won people, carpeting. Yeah. People, Bill, the thing is, if, if the roommate, who is heterosexual, and, and, uh, and the lesbian comes in and she's Irish, maybe she could teach... Irish? Maybe she, if she, the lesbian's Irish, she could teach the uh, heterosexual to be Gaelic. <laughs> <laughs> I think, this is, I think this is a really bad decision, and at first blush it looks like it's, it's pro-gay rights, but in the end I think it's about, it's anti-civil rights, it's about the states feeling comfortable with intruding into our, the personal sphere that's, and micromanaging yeah. personal decision making, and I just, I think that Absolutely. that's a very dangerous Yeah, precedent. the government's and coming think, into your bedroom, the government's well, coming into your own house, right. where's, where's that headed? Think about yeah. Let's right. not let foresight next, be a next thing they'll, here. Next thing they'll tell you if you can have an abortion or not. Oh, they're going to be laying out your underwear. But now, but now, going wait, through your sock drawers. But Say, wait a minute. I think work, it's study. different for clarification. If you have an apartment house that you have bought for an investment, then I don't think you should be able to discriminate. But if you live in a this home, I don't want to find you in my trash can in the morning, and I don't want a lesbian in there. I don't think... Why do you keep I going back to and cucumbers and condoms? By the way... Susan, I, I know you're a hip party animal, but I think the last the last thing you'd find with a lesbian roommate are used. Well, that, how do you know? I think there's oh. I think there's a little bit of armchair. The gig is up. There are, there are how do you know that? Now, no, 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 no. Seriously, you think I'm lesbians not... use? What? Well, how much do you not know use? about lesbians? I thought that's exactly what they use. Someone Don't help me use? here. I mean, What do they one. use? Two women. Toilet paper. <laughs> yes, Bill. I am sure. Well, Honey, then what do they lesbians, use? Lesbians. The whole point I'm is that they don't clear. want the phallic thing in any shape or form. You I see? Think First of all, we vary from person that's another, to person. That's another Why? Question. You got to watch out. Lesbians are another question, but this is about the yeah, government about coming into your own house. Who by a lesbian woman wouldn't want that? This is another show. This is another show. Yeah. Do you have an unconscious yeah, awareness here, Susan? Yeah, I don't know. Are you wanting to know Steve. I'm not wanting to know? Oh, no. well, I can't explain understand Explain why that. a lesbian this doesn't is... want to... Don't beyond... Me. No, this... Yeah. I have... No, I don't... No, I, don't. <laughs> I think people should have to live with well, lesbians. Well, then who uses... <laughs> people, why would the lesbian want to live with a homophobe? People should have to live with lesbians. Not where are we? 
Yeah, what's the government going to do on that one? They're going to prove that. Well, it's the, you know, if you don't want to live with anybody, right. shouldn't that be the... Yeah. I mean, if I don't want to live with a rodeo clown, that doesn't mean, right. mean I'm anti-clown, right? It's critical, it's critical to right. civil rights. But what Wisconsin seems to be trying to do here is to change people's perceptions and to change prejudice by forcing right. people to live together. Right. And it's right. true that civil rights laws have transformed our society and have helped us overcome some bigotry. But this is not really going to get us there. I think that in terms of, transform, right. in terms of having us be less bigoted, other sources need to pick up that gauntlet, like culture, you know, the, the cultural arena, the media, artists. But isn't it an infringement of my right in my home right. to be forced, I mean, even you as a property You don't know owner. enough about lesbians to I comment on this at all. We have to take a break. I we'll be right back. Rick Schroeder, Christine O'Donnell, and uh, Star Parker. And, uh, Stephen, I felt people are going to write me and say, why did you stifle Stephen Wright? I think I overdid it tonight. I apologize. 